Welcome to the 2019 Cats Moses. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. That's too much. Man, I saw that going a lot differently in my head. It did not work out. Welcome to the 2019 Cats Moses Shop Tour and International Maker Station update. Uh, I want to give you a tour of the shop and kind of show you what our day-to-day -day work life is like here. Uh, this is about 5,000 square feet, uh, about 4,500 indoor square feet, and about another, I guess maybe it's a little bigger than 5,000. We got about another 2,000 uh, square feet of usable space out here that we use for different things. Uh, we have a bandsaw mill coming in. I have a bunch of slabs that, that's already mine. It's just in a different town right now at a ranch about 40 miles away. We just signed a lease on the space next door, which adds 1,200 square feet, so we're able to bring that stuff because now under the overhang here, this is all mine, I don't have to share it. So let's go inside and I'll show you what our day looks like and give you a tour of the shop. So when you first walk in the shop, this is shipping. Putnam behind me is filling orders. Uh, we do that daily, every single morning and every single night. Uh, Chris comes in in the evenings and fills orders and uh, we do everything in house here. So everything is packaged about four feet from my desk and we do all the customer service stuff here. It's a lot of fun, uh, you know, we stock Cats Moses stop box. We have the dovetail jigs here, and then we keep all our Suisan saws and templates over on the shelves over here. Uh, let's head over to the main area, and I will show you where all the tools are. So as you can see behind me, you probably recognize a lot of the background. You know, you see me shoot a lot over here. This is our finishing and assembling area. Uh, right here, we have the table saw and outfeed table, as well as our main tool cluster. And our main tool cluster is jointer, planer table saw because that's kind of how you mill all your lumber. And these are the tools we use most of the time. Uh, we also have the 24 inch spiral head planer that we use for milling large lumber and slabs. And that is kind of a big part of how we bring lumber in the roll up door where you saw the forklift behind me before. Also over here, we have the, the router table. This is where we do a lot of our manufacturing prep work uh, as well as a lot of the work you see in our videos. Uh, we'll put dovetail jigs when they come into the shop on the cart and then they come here where they are chamfered and inspected by our quality control guys, Putnam and Chris. Uh, from there, we head over to the laser, which you see right behind me here. This is the best cutter laser here, which is an awesome laser. And actually we're bringing in a new laser that's about three times the size of this. It has a five by 10 cutting area. It's 260 watt laser. This is a 150. And that's the cut templates. Uh, we've started doing a lot more templates. We do those for other YouTubers as well and ship them. And that's becoming a big part of our business. And actually, you can see here, here's a Mox and Vice carcass, if you will. Uh, and part of the reason we're getting the new one is we can put full sheets of MDF in there. That's gonna cut a lot of time out of our manufacturing process. Right now we have to bring in sheets, break them into quarters, and then change them out, you know, for quarters per sheet and that's a lot of change out in the laser so it's gonna be really cool with the new machine i'm gonna show you in that room in a second in sean's shop laser right now is currently engraving some dovetail jigs which you can see here behind me here our main roll-up door this is where lumber comes in uh some of like the mdf i was talking about before that we use in the laser this is where we store all our video equipment that mark uses uh and break down rough lumber here with the rolling chop saw which is a video you saw me do i'll link that right here and then as you get further into the shop here, this is the 24 inch planer. And part of what's gonna be great about the new space we just added is we'll move the laser and the CNC, which you see behind me here, the CNC will go over to the other shop. We're gonna move all manufacturing and shipping over there. Part of the goal of this space was so that we could bring in other YouTubers to collaborate and have classes here and do that kind of thing. And we very quickly realized that with the tools we have here and all the manufacturing we do here that it was difficult to have lots of people in here at one time. So as we're adding this other space, we're gonna be able to move all the manufacturing and shipping over there and open this up to more assembly tables and more space vices, things like that for people to come in and use the space. Uh, as lumber gets broken down in its rough state, uh, it'll sometimes come to the bandsaw here where we'll start to chop it up into pieces for projects and it's stored right here in our lumber rack. Like I said, and you may have seen on my website, I have a ton of walnut slabs from a tree we did and a bandsaw mill and we've been working on putting together some more rough lumber. Uh, and that's actually gonna be coming to this space here soon. So lumber storage also is gonna go in the new shop. Um, and then as you can see our dust collection, we did a ton of videos when we were setting this shop up on our dust collection and how we got that done. It works great. If you go watch those videos, just know I have no complaints. I mean, it, I can only make dirty jokes here, but it sucks and it's amazing. So uh, assembly table, 
This was, I hate this thing. This thing is garbage. I, this was here when we got here. That is definitely on the docket for 2020 is to build a real assembly table with a couple vices in it. Maybe it'll be a hybrid workbench. But it's basically just some four by fours on some casters with a top that it, actually I was able to flatten, which was cool by putting some shims in there. You saw us do some slab flattening videos. So it works. It's got a shelf underneath it. I hate it. It gets dirty. It wobbles stupid thing, but it works. So over here we get into our sanding area, which is where, you know, we can do all our contour sanding. We have our sharpening station, the Tormek T8. It's also where we do our hand sharpening. We've got a spindle sander, oscillating belt sander, and that old Milwaukee one. I never did a video on that, but I think I, if you saw on Instagram, I restored that old Milwaukee. That was a lot of fun. And then we keep a lot of our hardware and random parts up here. And then obviously the background that you guys know and see in all my videos is here. This is where we do a lot of our intros and outros. This is my main bench. Again, <laughs> I think this is the first thing I ever built. And I don't know why I haven't built a new workbench, but this Mox Vice has served me so well that I just have never really needed to with that assembly table. But it's definitely on my list because I, if I lack anything, it's workbench space. I just, I don't know why I haven't made that a priority in my life. Let me take you over to my desk, which I'm sorry, it's probably a little messy. And then I'm gonna show you the new space. So this is the nerve center for Cats Moses Woodworking. And we have our CEO, CFO, COO, Sandy Benjamin Franklin, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Cats Moses the first. Uh, you can see she's good management material. She just lays down and makes sure everybody's doing their job all day. This is where I respond to emails, uh, post videos, do editing. We've got the big screen TV. 3D printer for prototyping. Um, this is where, you know, when we have new ideas, we, we draw them in Fusion and print them to see if they're gonna work. And this is where we get everything done. So uh, let's take you into the new space and, and show you how we get it done. And this is our new space, which we just moved into yesterday. And actually you'll see in a second, uh, is occupied by my good friend, Sean Boyd. Currently is only gonna be here for a couple more months. This is where we're gonna move all our manufacturing. The new five by 10 laser is gonna come in here. Uh, the CNC and laser will go over here. We'll have lumber storage in here and we'll be able to do a lot of more material handling and production here. Uh, let's talk to Sean real quick. So as you guys know, Sean Boyd from Sean Boyd made this and now from Four Eyes Furniture is very sadly after what, a year and a couple months gonna be leaving. Uh, we have kind of shared the same building for a long time here, as, as we mentioned when we first moved in. But now he's, he's doing something really exciting. What are you going to do, Sean? Yeah, so I'm going to be here for a couple months. And then if you've been watching Chris Salamone's channel, Four Eyes Furniture, you've seen I've been posting videos there. Mm -hmm. We're doing some videos together. So I'm actually going to be moving down to Whittier and moving into the shop with Chris. And we've got a ton of exciting new things happening. So it nice. should be a, a good opportunity. And what's Chris's home address? <laughs> um, so basically our plan here is as the new laser's coming, it should be here in about a month, month and a half they're building it. I'm going to basically push Sean out and that's sort of our plan over the next month and a half is uh, I'm going to start moving in as, as the things we talked about come here and uh, we're really looking to ramp up sort of production of things that benefit you guys, the viewers in 2020 and that's that's templates. Uh, we're going to be doing some with Sean and Chris and just bringing you the kind of cool products we've been bringing you at very inexpensive prices and high quality stuff. So uh, I, I really, I think kind of that's the gist of the shop. And please, I'm happy to answer any questions about tool setup, anything you think is pertinent down in the comments. But thanks for watching. Stay safe in the shop. Have a wonderful day, guys.